Hello YouTube, 3K Beats here, and I'm gonna show you how I was able to sample sounds from the internet into this MPC Studio Sampler application. I was finding it very hard to, uh, to figure this out. Um, I have an external sound card, a Behringer Euphoria UMC 204 HD, and I couldn't get, I couldn't use that virtual software, virtual um, cable, VB virtual cable, whatever that software is called. I wasn't able to get that to work with uh, this other software that I was using called uh, Voice Meter. And uh, this is the software right here. And this is the software that I was actually able to use to get it to work, to get the sound off the internet and into uh, the MPC studio uh, without having to do anything else. Um, I guess the name of the company is VB Audio. Um, and they make all types of uh, virtual software applications. Anyway, so I'm using this uh, this particular software, and I'll, I'll put the link to the um, to this website on where you can find that. But this is the software here. It's it's at this web page right here. This is the original version I'm using. There's two versions: is this one, the orange version, and the banana version. And I believe the banana banana version allows you to do more equalization, you know, you can equalize more, you have more tracks, um, you have more inputs rather to run through this software and it also includes a way to record. So this actual software will record in the banana version, uh, but I didn't need that because I'm using Camtasia Studio 8 to record, so I'm just going to use the orange version for now. And you see the orange version will allow you to record from your um, your microphone. Uh, you can have an input from the internet into the vir this virtual port right here. And mix this together and Camtasia Studio will pick up all the sounds that are being mixed in through this application and will record it, which is what it's doing right now. So Once you've, um, once you've downloaded and installed the software, uh, which is gonna have drivers with it, you'll wanna, if you have, and this is for, on a Windows computer, this is not a Mac, this is Windows 7 that I'm using. Um, so this is the alternative to the Soundflower application that uh, Mac users uh, are able to use to, um, to record off the internet. This is the alternative to that, so for Windows users. Uh, so open up your, your Windows Sound, and you'll want to make sure that under playback, that virtual uh, VB Audio Voice Meter is the default device, okay? And under Recording, you want Voice Meter Output to be the default device as well, okay? So that's done. And if you're using a microphone, well, actually, I don't know why you would be using a microphone if all you're going to do, be doing is sampling into your MPC uh, studio. But I'm using a microphone because I'm I'm doing a video tutorial here. So this port right here, virtual input, needs to show VB Audio Voice Meter Vial. When you open up the software, this may not show that way. You may, you may need to set it up first in the MPC studio before it would appear here automatically. So that's what we're gonna do now. In MPC studio, you're gonna to go to edit, preferences, and then under device, you're going to choose voice meter virtual ASIO, okay? And it's gonna look just like this. Um, if you wanna keep the sample rate, the 512 samples, if you're I don't know if your audio, audio card will allow that, um, then go ahead and do that. And as you can see, through the virtual uh, voice meter, excuse me, through voice meter, I'm able to pick up my voice from my microphone, and I'm using a webcam microphone, the Logitech uh, HD Pro 910, I think is what it is, and it's and MPC Studio is picking up my voice right now. So let's go ahead and record. Okay, very simple. You just click on this record button right here and it'll pick up anything that's coming through this mixer. Anything that's coming through this mixer, which is one, my voice, and two will be 
what I get from the internet, once I turn that on, it's going to be recorded in MPC Studio. So right now I'm going to press play here on this uh, on this audio from the from uh, from the internet from YouTube, and I'm going to press record in MPC Studio, and it should record what is being played. So, I pressed record to start the recording and I pressed record to stop the recording. Now let's press this play button right here and see if it actually um, recorded what was being played. Okay, so apparently it was. So now we're going to keep it. Then I'm going to double click on it. And there you go. There's the audio that was recorded off the internet into MPC Studio. Very easy, guys. So now I can I can do all the sampling I want to do off the internet. And uh, so let me play this. See? So now you can chop trim, do whatever it is that you want to do in the MPC Studio. Now that you have that audio, that audio sample from the internet uh, recorded into MPC Studio uh, as a wave, and more than likely it's a wave file. I would imagine it's a wave file. Um, but that's it. If you have any questions on how I was able to, uh, to, to do the recording through Camtasia to set that up uh, with virtual, excuse me, with voice meter, Leave comments. Uh, also, let me know if this worked for you, um, if it and if it didn't work for you, and if you found a better way to do it. Leave that in the comments too. So I hope this helped some of you guys that have been um, trying to figure this out for a long time and couldn't do it. Let me know what you think. Peace.